This should be talked about in nearly every symposium on trading. It should be part of any course on trading. Because From 2022 to 2023, I did day trading. Don't worry, I've finished day trading. I'm not here to sell you a course or to make some ridiculous like million percent return video, which seems to be exactly what all the trading videos are these days on YouTube. However, I do want to share with you something that had I done differently, would have made me 33,593 euros more. Now, on the screen right now are my actual trading results. As you can see, I was in the negative for some time. I'm not proud of it, but it was the truth. I was nearly 20k down. By the end of the period I traded, I ended up in the positive. I made 19,330 euros, which is not bad for first year trading. Most people lose money. So what's the big secret here? It happens that at the time I was also wearing my Garmin watch, which tracks my sleep. I did a bit of an experiment. I linked sleep score against PNL to see if there's any sort of interesting facts that might come up. And long story short, had I not traded on days where I had a sleep score of 70 or less, which is considered not great sleep, I would have made 55,923 euros, which is quite a staggering difference in profit. Honestly speaking, had I made that instead of the 19,330, it's quite possible I wouldn't even be shooting this video right now. I might still be as an active trader and being quite a profitable one at that. The idea that sleep can impact trading results is not a new concept. There are studies that talk about this, including one published in the American Economic Association, which in this case suggested that when there's daylight saving hours, trading results suffered. So the reason behind this is that when there's a time change across a country, people on average are going to sleep less. And there are analyses showing that basically when this happens, traders lose more money. They are making poorer decisions. So that's a very strong big data study that shows basically that sleep has some impact on trading. Another study from 2023 in the Global Finance Journal showed that when there's World Cup games, so f soccer games, so there's Americans, um, there was a reduction in performance of traders. So this is again linking sleep because the idea being that a lot of the traders are watching games till late, past their bedtime, and trading the next day. And they saw a correlation in the results based on that behavior. And the paper you're going to see right now is a very famous paper which links testosterone to trading performance. So they showed that people with high testosterone typically traded better and made more money. Now, you may notice, you may not, but we make testosterone during our REM sleep. And testosterone and sleep are highly related. If you sleep poorly, you will see negative effects on your testosterone. Therefore, I would say sleep has a big impact on this study as well. With all this in mind, why the hell are traders not tracking their sleep? And why are we not talking about this more? This should be talked about in nearly every symposium on trading. It should be part of any course on trading because if you're sleeping poorly, it's affecting your risk management. It's affecting your ability to deal with emotions. It's affecting your cognitive ability. It's affecting your testosterone. All these things we know impact trading results. Now with all this in mind, there are a few issues here. First of all, my study is just on me. It's one year's worth of data, which isn't a terrible data set, but it's not amazing either. Therefore, I think there is more need for more studies done on this. And the second thing with the bigger studies, these weren't done on actual trade results for individuals, but they were done on the overall effect on the markets and how traders behaved. So it's very hard to narrow down if this actually meant losses or profits for the individual traders. One other consideration to make is that the sleep scores from Garmin are not necessarily perfect. There are going to be discrepancies in them as well. However, I've been wearing Garmin for nearly four years and I actually put my sleep scores live every single week. I share them. And if you check my Garmin score versus my Aura score, they are nearly the same every single week. Therefore, there will be some issues with this data, but on the long term, over time, it will be very accurate in terms of the reality of my sleep. Hence, if I was to go back to trading, which I wouldn't, dismiss. I still sell robots to trading and I still have some automated trading. 
I would 100% A track my sleep and essentially if I had a bad day's sleep, score 70 or less, I would just make a rule that I wouldn't trade. I'll quote Tom Hugard, who's a very famous day trader, in that sometimes it's best not to trade at all. Even if you're not winning, you're not losing. And ultimately, what matters is the end result. So taking a day off because you didn't sleep well and focus on other tasks could be very good advice for traders, but also maybe to other professions. It's not just traders where there's big decisions to be made. There's a lot of areas where I think this could be very important. So if you're interested to learn a bit more, there's a link in the comments which is pinned with more information on the study. So you look at more of the data, the graphs, you can query me on more of the details. And also, if there's any traders watching this who also have access to sleep data and are willing to share their data, which is not many people, I would love to hear from you. Because if we can get more people, more data, we can really start to see if there's more to this trend than what I've already presented. Now, I can't finish this video without actually giving some good sleep tips to help out any traders or high performers out there. So I'm going to give you four. Number one, always aim to get morning sunlight. So as soon as you wake up, try to get outside, get natural light. By getting light early, it helps kickstart a circadian rhythm, which ultimately leads us to having better sleep in the nighttime. It's free, it's easy, and it's backed by science. Number two, have a consistent bedtime routine. As children, we all had to have a bedtime routine because it works. And I'm sorry, but as adults, it's the same. Um, bedtime routines work. Having a very consistent sort of step-by-step -step process that you do at the same time every night will massively improve sleep and consistency and make it more likely that you can trade tomorrow. Number three, try to reduce light in the evening. So the issue with light, especially bright lights we have indoors, is that they can basically trick our body into thinking it's still light outside, which means we won't be creating the melatonin that we need to fall asleep. So quick advice is once you get maybe an hour or two from bedtime, dim the lights. If you don't have dimmers, try to switch to lamps instead. Light coming from sideways angles is much healthier than light coming from above. And by dimming the lights, it's telling your body it's time to go to sleep. So you're much more likely to go to bed on time and have better quality sleep. And number four, I really recommend avoiding highly processed and heavy foods, especially in the evening. If our body's still digesting, if it's still dealing with, let's say, difficult to break down nutrients or low nutrient food, which is a lot of fast food, then it will affect our sleep. There's a study I'm going to pull up right now which shows this and you just know it yourself. And the benefits of eating healthier go way beyond just sleep. If you want to learn more about sleep, subscribe to my channel and check out my content. Happy trading!